Okay. So okay. not to be offended by them pointing out things about your, your features. features. And, you know, it, it's actually a compliment to yeah. them because for them, it may be a more unique way of seeing it. What's good, y'all? It's, it's the Duma Shots React, and, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we are back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 100. 100- Okay, and we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. There's one thing that's called fromage de tete. It's a uh, cheese of the head. And <laughs> they'll take like a, a cow head or something and boil it. And all of the um, oils and fats and hairs float to the top. And then they take it and cool it so it's cold. And then they'll chop it up into little cubes and mm -hmm. you eat it i don't like it plain but it wasn't bad on a sandwich so on a piece of bread with some lasari which is cow face carrots and vinegar cow face. they do like to eat chicken feet you gotta get used to chicken cow face, feet babe. yeah they're eating the face of it the, everything face well, I mean, the brain the nothing ears really the back of the me. neck yeah, nothing surprises me because we've been finding a lot of like similarities between Louisiana foods, mm -hmm. especially like country Louisiana. He just said chicken feet to African. He just yeah. said chicken feet, yeah. right? That's a Louisiana thing. Mm -hmm. I never tried it. Nah, yeah, not a fan, but <laughs> they actually have the nails in there too. Like, right, that's what scares me. <laughs> it still be on the... the texture, but the flavor is really nice. And then I had a uh, they often boil chicken heads. And that. eat those, and if they'll just now cut that, the head off, deep. Um, feathers and all. Mm. Don't waste time plucking anything. Boil it, and then they'll set it out on a plate. And uh, not a big fan of the chicken head, but I did try it. This Wasn't was able to eat it in one whole bite, so I had to chomp through the skull and eat half of the it skull. at a time. But it wasn't bad. I tried it once, and now I don't this was up. ever try it again. I mean, they eat. Y'all hear what he said? He said, that's what's up. That's what's that up. That mean prepare he the chicken is, head for No, that now. mean that he tried it, you know what I'm saying? And he liked it and he didn't like it. So he's going, you know, he's testing the waters. That's what's up. So Dion want to test the waters on the chicken head. <sighs> Sierra, prepare Sierra, it. Sierra, Sierra. <laughs> they eat every part of the animal. There's definitely a big difference in do's and don'ts in Madagascar than here. There's, there's things that they do there that aren't offensive that would be offensive here and vice versa uh one of the biggest examples that i can think of is uh they're a little bit more blunt down there with physical features you know mm -hmm. which here you know sometimes we tend, tend to tiptoe around if you're big down there they'll let you know wow you're big whoa and here if you if you say that that's kind of rude but down there it's it's more of a compliment it's like wow you mm -hmm. you can say Mananaina, you Mananaina, you you have life. Wow, you have a lot of you have mm. life. Okay. It's like you're not Tavi Bay. You you fat. So um, mm. it's it's funny because yeah, here it's like what like no wow, you did you right. there, wow, you're really you're really white. It's like yes yes thank you I am thank you, and uh, and to them like it's not it's not rude it's not being rude in their culture. It's just, hey, cool. So that's something that you have to kind of get used to when you get there, and you just you just have to kind of get it in your mind, like, oh, they're they're not being rude, they're being friendly. They're so okay. not to be offended by them pointing out things about your, your features. features. And, you know, it's actually a compliment to them yeah. because for them, it may be a more unique way of seeing it. Right, right. You that's know? cool. I think that's, that's something cool. that's um, acceptable. I think that is. But in yeah. the other place, you don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't mm -mm. think they're going to want to, um, it's going to no. be fighting words, no. they call it. It don't even matter if you're skinny. Mm -mm. Don't call it skinny. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> they're being talkative. It's something that they like to talk about. Um, so if you just kind of be open with it and just kind of laugh and if, if they say something that offends you you just kind of laugh it off shrug it off be like 
Yeah, they're really friendly and they're really easy to talk to, and you you can talk to them about pretty much anything, and they just they just don't get offended with physical. I like stuff. that, but at the same time, I think that's just like human nature. You go with the flow of conversations, especially if you just meet a person for the first time. You go with the flow with the conversation until mm -hmm. you know you start to see what buttons they're pushing, mm -hmm. and how much of it can you take before you actually start to feel offended. You know. Yeah. Yeah, well, me, I would try to, you know, why would you say that? Not <laughs> as in... In a sweet way, huh? Yeah, like, why why are you speaking about, you know, whatever it is? Mm -hmm. Just to get, like, to understand where they're coming from. Because we are open-minded people and we like to, right. you know, we will ask the question before we get offended by exactly. it. Exactly. Facts, facts. Exactly. Because they're just like, that's that's how it is. It is how it is. They really respect, respect people's property. Mm. And um, yeah, we don't like thieves. Like, mm. like for example, we have our backpacks, and uh, we'll set our backpacks down on the floor in front of us as we sit down. A Malagasy person will never step over your backpack because that's your personal property, and that's they're they're respecting that. I like, I like that. that. So they'll they'll ask you to move your backpack. When up here, you know, you'll just step over it and not think about it. Right. But there, they're like, hey, can you move your backpack? And you're like. And then they and then they walk through. I like that. So just something like that that's just you don't really think about. But to them it's 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 a big deal. Mm -hmm. One thing that's really cool, they, they really respect people. They rarely get in fights with other people. They rarely hurt other people. My they're, kind of they're, people. They're really peaceful, really nonviolent. And it's it's because it's it's really, really bad to to hurt someone. I feel like yeah. I mean, that kind of goes for any culture, but I just, I thought it was amazing that down there, you know, I never really saw any, any fights, never really saw a whole lot of violence and you don't really hear about it a lot. I mean, obviously there's exceptions, but it's mm. peaceful. No, I've never heard of a missionary getting mugged. Pickpockets a different story. You know, that can happen anywhere. anywhere. So you gotta be careful when you're in crowded places. You know, watch your pockets, watch your backpack. They think it's incredibly awesome that someone so far away has come to this country, to their country, learned their language, and studied them and tried to understand them. They they think it's incredible. They're like, this is awesome. They're kind of in a in a far away place, and it's hard to get to. And I think they they feel like sometimes they get forgotten. Oh, they're just. You know, no one ever learns Malagasy. But then there's there's this group that comes and they just learn to love the people and they learn to love the language and they they just absorb the culture and the Malagasy's are just like, this is awesome. Like, you know, it's we have friends. We got in right right during the rainy season. It's completely different. The climate, the culture of the people, oh, yeah, like how people think. It's just the complete reverse of anything mm. and i've traveled a bunch since then and madagascar is still the coolest place i've ever been That's and it's still up. the most different cool. place i've ever been there's a lot of misconceptions about madagascar um so when i tell people <clears> they're <throat> kind of shocked at how different madagascar is from what they perceive it is um one madagascar is not a small island mm. it's a very large island it's twice the size of Arizona, or twice the size of Utah, a little bit bigger. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's a big island. There are people on the island, and there's a lot. Um, there's 20, over 20 million people on the island. That's, that's a Madagascar lot that is. has a lot of tropical regions, but it's also half desert. So that. there is a lot of dry places in Madagascar. There's a lot of cool wilderness places, and that's... People, you know, they'll watch documentaries of the cartoons, and they see the wilderness, and there, there's a lot of wilderness, and it's super pretty. There's the, the spiny forests and spiny deserts, and there's the stone forests, I guess I call it the tsingy. So there's a lot of really cool places, but there's also really, really big cities, uh, massive cities. Uh, Tana has, depending on how you look at it or how you measure it. There's between what, two and a half to seven and a half million people 
it's it's a busy, crowded, bustling city. Wow. Lots of people. Bump elbows a lot because there's so many people. Madagascar is the number one rice consumer per capita in the world. Come on, man. Really? So, and I've I heard it, and then I went and looked it up. So at least last time I looked up looked it up. Number one rice consumer per capita. So mm. they beat. I wonder who they beat. I wonder who they beat. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's probably it. the rice capital of. The United States or the world? I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, we're going to have to fact check. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to um, fact check that. Hold yeah. up. Wait. I got to fact check it now because... Hold up. Hold on. I wonder who they said... Uh, I wonder who they beat, though. Let's see. Let's see. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. Give it time, y'all. She got a little buffer going on. Oh, okay. It's the rice capital of America. Okay, of America. never mind. Okay, we got never somewhere. <laughs> China. Oh, they, they beat China. They need a lot of rice there. Wow. wow. Three meals a that day. That says a lot. They never eaten if they haven't had a good bowl of rice. That sticky rice? That sticky rice. Ooh. Ooh, girl, you better talk about I it. I have some yellow rice. Mm. Hey, they got it all. Look, y'all want to know about some good cooking or some rice? <laughs> they, y'all know where to go check them out. A pile of rice. Oh, another misconception, misconception. There are no rhinos, elephants, lions, giraffes, hippos. They're they're only in some parts of Africa, and they're not in Madagascar. Oh. Uh, Madagascar has uh, obviously a lot of lemurs. There are a lot of parks around, just kind of like nature reserves, and they they feel wild, and you can go out there and see lemurs and even play with them. The park guide gave us some bananas and some crackers and the lemurs were super friendly and we were able to break off pieces of banana and, and feed them and uh there's tricks that they're, they're a little bit shy but there's tricks mm -hmm. to to get them to jump on your shoulder and we, we'd lean up against a tree you. the arm is close enough hold a banana out here and the lemur would jump on our heads or jump out to our arms and reach out and grab the banana um so it's definitely they're lemurs are my favorite animal. They're so a... adorable. They're so, they're so nice. Madagascar is known for its uh, chameleons, and there's tons of chameleons, and those you'll find in the cities. Even you'll you'll see them everywhere. And at first, it's funny. At first, they're kind of shy and timid around you, and they'll try and avoid you. But after they kind of get used to you, you can hold them and play with them and. As long as you watch for the sh the signs, the warning signs, if they puff up, puff up their neck, if you watch for those signs, you'll know when they're going to bite back. you, and you know not to stick your head in, in their face. Uh, if you want to see a chameleon, you can find little kids and hire them to go out and find chameleons for little you. Little kids! One time, we uh, went out and said, we'll give you 100 ariari, which is five cents, per chameleon that you found, and we said it to a group of kids. They're like, okay. They ran out and they came back with ten chameleons. Mm. <laughs> so, I have a picture of me with, with all these chameleons on my shoulders and arms. Yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> but they're fun. They're a cool creature. There's some cool trees. There's some cool cacti. You might see a fusa. Not in the wild though. Fusa is the the predator of the lemurs. It's a cat. You'll have a big bowl of rice, and then there's a loke. And the loke is the word for, like, toppings, what you put on that rice. And there's a bunch of different types of loke. There's beans is super common. There's uh, huanzuburi, which is these really big peanut-tasting beans. And they're super delicious. That's my favorite loke. Then there's uh, ravitutu, which is crushed leaves, boiled. Then there's anana, which is stuff translates to stuff which is just green stuff that's actually one of my favorites and then often they'll eat it with uh beef maybe a little bit okay. of yeah that was the my next question not just meat they'll they'll have a lot of fat mixed in too that's like the everyday food that's what everybody eats pretty much every meal just rice with some kind of loke on top gotta have you some then rice the fun food which is the street food 
Madagascar has awesome street food. Uh, they have nems, sambos. Nems are kind of like uh, egg rolls, a little bit, a little bit similar to egg rolls. They're just deep fried rolls with whatever kind of vegetable or jud inside. Uh, egg then there's um, sambos, right um, which I think came from India because I've seen them in like India restaurants and stuff. But it's just kind of the same thing, but it's a triangle. Then there's uh, mesquite, which is like a kebab. Just like we little pieces of meat. Yeah, yeah we grill it right there Wait. in front of you. You tell them you want what however many you want, vegetables? 10, 20. Um, and they're like two and a half, five cents a piece. So you'll go buy 10 and spend 50 cents and just <laughs> eat a bunch of meat. Mufa kunju, which is bread, um, battered banana. Bananas um, dipped in like a cake batter, kind of, Ooh. or like a bread batter, and then deep fried. So it's like this. Come again. <laughs> gooey mushy banana hmm. super delicious you gotta be careful only eat it when it's hot and don't eat too much or your stomach is not gonna forgive you <laughs> Must be. Okay, yeah. okay, that was a nice okay. Video. I like his introduction to it though. He made a lot of cool, uh, cool facts that you know about Madagascar. Yes. I like what he was saying about the people. Very interesting. Seemed yeah. like a vibe. Very um, polite, obviously. Yeah, I love that. I love that they're respectful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I do see that there's a lot of food. Long list of food. Yes. So you Long guys have sent food. this, but nobody sent any food. Mm. So send in those requests right now to the description box below. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our joint feature to become a VIP member of the channel. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.